Okay, folky folk folks, here's the Jolka hot tap. And what happened to me, I think in earlier, some other videos I'll post here and try to edit it all, is uh, it uh, blew a leak up in the radiator. They said it's frost, and I was, I made, maybe made the mistake of not, uh, not taking it inside in Wisconsin when I hit the... Uh, 30 degrees or whatever it was and it was water in it that's what they say so it was a nut and warranty so what i did is i i tore it all apart it's flimsy yeah. but it's a, it's a nice piece but right here i'm going to try to jb weld that right here if you can see that right there i'm going to clean it up i took the whole thing off because it's either fix that there or in the garbage it's a it's a copper they're copper you can see they're copper pipes so I'm going to JB weld it and we'll see what goes on. And if you look in the back here, here's the back of the old Joka. And uh, where's the case? Right down here in the ground is the case. And there's my dog dude. Okay, so I'm back. Now here's a side shot of it. The radiator on top. And if you look at that far right one, it blew a leak there. So I took this whole thing apart and then I... Uh, Sanded it, sanded it, sanded it, took alcohol over it and tried to dust it off, cleaned it off. And then I put JB Weld on it. And I put JB Weld on it. Let me show you that. Okay, there's JB Weld. I put that and mixed it all up. It's two different compounds. You push it together and you mix it all up and and then you put it on. And uh, so I did that. What I did was uh, I, I put one coat on it and I waited 24 hours. Then I went and put another coat on it and I waited 24 hours. Then I just did the, the experiment now. I plugged it in with my pump and I didn't, I let it flow through. I didn't uh, put on my shower head where I could stop it. So all I did was turn it on, on the water to flow right through without stopping. And, uh, and I did that first stage and what it did, it, it held. Unbelievable, it did hold. It shot it out, it's not leaking a drop. So the next deal will be when I put my shower in and I shut the shower off and there's that pressure in there, it may leak there. But what I'm probably gonna do is my first shower, I'm going to just leave it flow. The minute I turn the pump on, it's gonna flow through and right out the shower head. I'm not gonna turn the shower head off. And uh, I wanna do that to make sure, uh, to make sure I think it'll work, of course, if I don't turn the shower head off. But if I have the shower head off, why the pump's going and it may just blow it out. I don't know. We'll see. Ten four. Okay, testing uh, KW here. Now, I fixed the Jolka shower. To recap it all off, I JB welded it. I've taken several showers. I put it back together, and it is kicking ass. So just to let you know, uh, it can be welded. They told me, uh, I'll sell you a new one for 200 bucks. Blah, blah, blah. But tear it apart, sand it really well put a coat on it wait 24 hours put another coat on it wait 24 hours and give it a shot and uh and keep it out of the winter put it inside if it's going to freeze that night wherever you're camping take it out put it inside the tent or whatever because if there's a little water in there it'll snap the pipes 10-4 breaker breaker